Let's see, we're on page 8 in the second study of the Herbert L. Clark book. Let's tackle number 36, using the third finger for every E and every A that we come to. Slow. Let's call it faster. A little faster now. Same thing, number 36 on page 8. Second study of the Herbert L. Clark book. Okay, getting that third finger good workout. And let's, let's um, put the pedal to the metal, as I say. Finger, third finger, good workout. Now let's go back to normal using one and two for E. Watch my third, watch the middle finger here. Watch how it never moves. I'll go slower. Notice how that never moves, it stays down the whole time. Did you ever think of that? So you want to really look at a lot of these different technical studies. Um, outside the box may not be the best term, but you want to start thinking in terms of not just straight ahead plane. So this one here. Your second finger never moves. So you're just basically working one and three for the most part. K tongue. Well, let's see, how can we actually keep mixing it up a little bit? Um, I don't know. What are the combinations here? How about slur the middle two? I better go a little slower. Sorry. Tongue to slur to. I'm trying to give you ideas, and um, I should have probably practiced all these right before I did this, but it's okay. Um, how about tongue one, slur three? Tongue one. Um, really trying to think outside the box. How about dotted eight sixteenth? We'll tug it. How about sixteenth eighth? So it'd be sixteenth dotted eight, sixteenth dotted eight. Okay. So anyway, you get the point. This is a really good lesson on the Kerber Dot Clark because I just showed you how you can really milk each and every one of these studies for all it's worth. We went over single tongue on this one. Did we do double tongue? We've done so many, I can't remember. We did K tongue, single tongue. I think we might have been double tonguing. Let me see, double tongue.
So a double tongue, I guess you could do repeated double tongue and make it twice as long to really get your, tubble, your tongue in action there. We did all that. We did um, slur two, tongue two, slur the middle two, slur three, tongue one, tongue one, slur three, dotted eight, sixteenth, sixteenth dotted eighth, and we did it with E and A's using just the third finger. This is an example. If you haven't done this before, the world just opened to you, my friends. You should do that. Do this on each and every one in the Clark book. So if you've just been looking at it and going, think on the 37, 38, and on and on just slurring through all of them. Maybe tongue in here and there. You ain't barely scratching the surface, baby. Come on now. You can milk this. You can turn the second study into an hour and a half on its own. And that doesn't even include eight two number two. You can milk it and work that technique. Why not do it? Herbert L. Clark. Technical studies. We were looking at second study, mainly focusing on number... 30, what is it, 36, the study in E major, concert D, and if you just did that, that would give you a couple of percent increase in your technique, just by working with this tutorial right now. Kurt Thompson, another trumpet lesson, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.